This was on my top 10 most anticipated movies list, and I hadn't even seen a trailer for it. So I'm hopeful, very hopeful. I'm worried about you. Are you sleeping? You scared me the last time we talked. You know me. I never sleep. husband used to call me a nocturnal animal. I didn't know you had an ex-husband. I've been thinking about him a lot lately. And then recently Jake Jones holds ex-husband. That he's written. Nocturnal it's animals. silent and it's sad. Then he dedicated it to me. Did you love him? I did something horrible to him. Single Man's a great movie. You should go watch it. Serious you are about seeing justice done. Michael Shannon being a badass. You got Aaron Taylor Johnson in this with some Maui. You'll regret it. I really wanted to be this person that you thought I was. You're crazy. You're making a big mistake. You'll never find out. When you love someone, you have to be careful with it. You might never get it again. It's fun to kill people. We should try it sometime. I've no idea what's going on. It's amazing. Nobody gets away with what she did. So she kills her husband? Or something? Who knows? What a great trailer. Now, um, so Nocturnal Animals was on my top 10 most anticipated movies list that I put up on VivaDeal.com at the start of this year or end of last year, whatever it was. And I put it on there solely because Tom Ford is directing it. Now, Tom Ford has only done one movie so far, but it was a single man, but I really, really loved a single man. And I thought, um, he has, he has an eye for detail. He has, um, you know, it, it, he seemed to fit naturally behind the camera. And I was really looking forward to um, him stretching his his talents coming into a movie like this, Nocturnal Animals, which is a lot, looks to be a way more complex tale than A Single Man is. A Single Man's uh, a movie about a... Uh, well, you can just boil it down to it's a movie about a gay guy dealing with being a gay guy. It's a lot more than that. But this obviously is a tale of, I don't know, weird... I don't, too much going on you got so Amy Adams uh, I don't know she kills her husband or something Aaron Taylor Johnson's like hired to do it Michael Shannon's there is like I don't know some sheriff dude or something I don't know the, be the best thing the best the best thing is like you don't need to know for some movies you just need like a trailer to sell you on like a tone or a uh, a kind of feel for a movie that you're going to be going to and, and that's the kind of trailer that was it sold you on like a feeling a tone that when you go into the cinema you know you'll be getting something similar to that and if you if the general idea of the plot interests you which the general idea of the plot is given to you as chick kind of weird stuff going on dealing with is she crazy does she kill her husband is something else kind of conspiracy related going on you can be like, I want to see that. And then you can be like, Amy, what a cast. What a great looking cast. And the part that excites me most, like, I really like a Amy Adams, of course, talented. Michael Shannon, of course, talented. Um, J Jake Gyllenhaal, of course, talented. But the part that really excites me is seeing Aaron Taylor Johnson in this queer, this weird, Maui kind of si killer. I like killing people. That excites me because I really like him. What a great cast. What a great trailer. Double thumbs up. Can't wait to see Nocturnal Animals.